Hello, this is Tove from Trial for Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you guys to a new add-on. That is, it's not. I don't know if it's new or not, but I know it's free. It's called the Nature Clicker add-on. And I'll leave a uh, link uh, of the add-on in the description below this video. So you can download it. Now, uh, the developer, uh, they have have their page here on Gumroad and you know even though you can click in here and type in zero is probably it's always good to just give just give and you know help out the developer out uh, but you can type in any amount you want to in here and then click on purchase it says purchase again for me because I've already purchased the add-on um, but once you've purchased it and downloaded it onto your system next thing you want to do is just install it into Blender. Once again, the process is go to Edit, Preferences, click on that. And you're going to go to Install, and then navigate to where you've installed it on your system. Click on that, click on Install Add-on, and I've already done it. And then let me type in Clicker. Here it is. And you just put a check in the box there, and that automatically uh, puts it in Blender and help, helps it to show up in the toolbar off to the uh, right side there and I'm using Blender 2.82 2 I think this is yeah 2.82 <coughs> excuse me once you've downloaded it I have this scene set up and it's pretty cool usually when you want to set up particles or instances of objects in Blender you will use the particle system and that's kind of tedious and you don't really have that much control over it because it just sets up like a hair system first and you have to turn the uh, particles have to assign the particles to whatever models you have maybe trees or grass or plants and then you'd have to kind of paint it in or have to designate where those would go but with this it's a lot easier a lot more straightforward so I have these rocks set up here just basic rough looking rocks and once you've installed it, it's going to appear on the right-hand side of your uh, of your user interface. And it's pretty straightforward. Start clicking, ground surface, select ground surface, and all that. Randomizing the objects in your scene. You uh, can move the clicker to a collection. Align the rotation to surface, create instances, and so on and so forth. So. The way to get started is to click on whatever ground plane you're wanting to use. Once you've done that, click on Select Ground. And it's already select selected the ground for us. And once again, you should name your objects. That's easier for you to kind of follow uh, what's in your scene. You know, kind of know what's there. And next thing you want to do is click on, you can click on one object if you want, or click on multiple ones. Right now we're just going to click on one just to show this uh, first example. So let's go, I'm going to click on this rock right here. And then press start clicking. Now you can see that now you've got that uh, object attached to uh, the moving gizmo of Blender. It's attached there. If you click, nothing happens. What you have to do, I had to kind of go through a trial and error process to find this out. But hold down enter on your keyboard and then click. So once you hold down enter and click left click on your, with your mouse it'll place all these objects here. Now you can to get out, out of uh, this clicking mode just click escape on your keyboard and that stops it. You can choose multiple models which I'm going to do right now. Let's left click here, hold down shift left click, left click, left click and then start clicking again and you can see that it's got the smallest rock uh, attached to the move gizmo and to kind of uh, shuffle through through your object so you just press enter on your keyboard and it chooses the rocks randomly now when you hold enter down it, it automatically will place random rocks down or random objects down on on the plane. Let me hold down enter, left click. You can see it's, it's just choosing different rocks 
it's not the same rock every time it's always a different rock and as I mentioned before this concept of this principle applies to whatever elements you choose or whatever models you choose in your scene if it's random trees you, you select you can select all of them and just hold down enter and left click and it'll place random trees in your scene same thing with rocks same thing with uh, plants and it, I think it, it can do it with any object in Blender, with, with any 3D object in Blender, a uh, bench, books, shelves, whatever. Just places different objects in your scene, whatever objects you choose. And you can change the rotation of your objects, change the scale, change the skewness, which I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what skew means. But you can make all these, these basic random movements or random changes to your models on your scene. And once again, this is, free. this is a really cool add-on for something that's free and open source. This is actually really good. It makes placing objects in your scene a lot easier as opposed to using the particle system that's built into Blender. It's a lot. It's way, way simpler than that. So yeah, that's today's Blender quick tip, the clicker add-on. And I hope this was helpful to those of you who have been watching. And I really appreciate you guys who have been watching the videos and learning from them. Uh, thank you guys who have subscribed to the videos in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate it, and I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.